Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So we're gonna be doing another video. I'm just gonna do like a black eyeshadow smoked out look today and see what we can do. Uh, my lids are already primed, so I'm just gonna go ahead and start with the transition colors and get that going. Um, again, I'm gonna be using this uh, Festival palette. Um, they do have some transition colors in here, so I'm gonna use that today. And let's see. I'm just taking this brown in here. I am gonna switch up my palettes here soon, um, but these are what is out right now. I have a few palettes that are out, but I'm just using what's out right now. I'm gonna switch them up here soon. Um, so yeah, I'm just putting on a transition color right now. Put Placing the color down. So there's that. And then in my next palette, it's called the Starlet Palette. I dipped into this yesterday as well. Um, these are some real pretty palettes. These are affordable as well. You should check them out. It's on Profusion or you can get them on Amazon. Um, but I'm going to take the black here. So I'm going to do a black color today and see what we can come up with. So I'm just going to dip into the black here and put this on my eyelid. So yeah, this is real dark. I think black is a really good color on your eyelids. It just does something to your eyes. And I do apologize again for any noises that you may hear in the background cars rolling by. I'm sure you can hear my clock ticking in the background. Any noises? So the first eyelid was kind of, it was rather smooth. This one right here seems kind of difficult it's not as smooth as the other one but we will make it work i'm gonna put this down it's not wanting to blend all right let's see here let's see what's going on this one just feels dry for some reason but both of the lids are primed um again i did prime them so let's see Kind of patchy, which is odd because it's a smooth palette. Sometimes you just got to work with it. That's how this is. Everything is trial and error. So, this is my first time using the black in the eyeshadow palette as well. So, Could be the brush. I'm thinking it may be the brush. Maybe the brush is a little bit too big. Let's see. Okay, so I'm just gonna go in with a smaller brush and see what I can do here. See if it'll take on better with the smaller brush. See what happens. Okay, so the smaller brush, I mean, it helps a little bit. Um, the shadow is still kind of patchy. I don't know if you can see that, but yeah, it's still kind of patchy. Um, but we'll keep, keep going with it, see what happens. All right, so I'm gonna put that down and then I'm going to go in with the shimmer on top. Um, I don't think I'm gonna like, use a brush or anything for the shimmer because the black is already sparkling in there. So I'm just gonna use my finger like usual. So this is the color right here. It has sparkles in it. And I'm just gonna use my finger and just go over the black. I 
So I'm going over the black. I can't really see the shimmer on there. A little bit is just subtle. Um, so I may take another color and see if I can make this pop a little bit more. But I'm going to go ahead and go in on the next side as well. Stepping a little bit out of my comfort zone. I don't really do colors like this, but I'm willing to try colors and see how they see how they look. But I think they're really pretty color. They pretty color. I think they're a really pretty color, especially on our skin tone, darker complexions. I think it just brings, you know, makes your eyes stand out. So I'm gonna go on with a shimmer, a different color, and see what I can do with it. Had to wipe my finger off due to that black. Let me see here. Okay, so probably like in a mix of colors. So I could probably do like maybe gold and shimmer gold black. Let's see. Okay, so that does make it pop some. I see the glitter on there now. Okay, so yeah, that is pretty. I like the color. If you guys can see it, but it has like little gold, gold and black shimmer on there. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and prep the skin. We're gonna prime it up real quick. to take the professional primer today actually no I'm gonna switch it up I said I was gonna switch up primers because I've been using the same one for a while so I'm gonna go ahead and switch it up and I'm gonna use the um, elf poreless elf poreless putty primer so I'm gonna use this one today I don't know what's up with my words today I haven't used this one in a while but I know this one's really good I know they say less is more, but in the summertime, I need more primer because my skin gets oily, um, you know, due to the heat and everything. So my skin gets oily faster. So. But again, do what works for you. Everybody's different, so. All right, so the primer is on. All right, so now we're gonna go in with foundation. I said I was gonna switch this up this time too. I am using the Revolution Conceal and Define 12.7. So I'm gonna use this. I haven't used it in a while. I'm gonna use it today. Just put it on. Hopefully it doesn't leave me with an orange. It's hard to tell with these um, foundation shades in this brand, but it's a real good brand that has, you know, full coverage. It's just the shade ranges, they tend to come off a little bit orange, but even still, if it does, I can still, you know, I can fix it. But 
Just gotta trust the process. But yeah, I like the coverage of it because it is full coverage. Now, the only reason why I'm putting on this full coverage is because it's kind of cooler today. So I figured today, you know, I could put on full coverage. We did get a lot of rain um, between last night and today. So the temperature's not as hot, not as humid. So I can do that. But here in the near future, I can do a sweat-proof glam. Something similar of yesterday, but you can do that as well. And then we're going to go in with the concealer, still using the same one. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and blend out the concealer. It's been sitting for a little bit. So we'll go ahead and blend this out. I am using a different brush, but I don't like this brush. I don't feel like it's doing what it's supposed to do. Much better. So today I will be putting on lashes today and try them out and see how that works. I think that'll be really nice to try. I think it'll be good to this look too. It'll enhance the look here as well. All right, so then we're gonna get ready to go in with my setting power powder. I cannot talk today my Haley setting powder and set the under eyes. And then I'm going to take my sponge and set the remainder of my face. Again, I'm going to use my e.l.f. Uh, beauty sponge. And again, I've just been using the sponge dry. I find that it works better in the summer for me. nice and smooth and set so we're gonna go ahead in with some eyeliner and then I will put on some mascara and put on some lashes here in a little bit powder in my hair all right so let me get my eyeliner here Okay, so we're gonna put on the bottom eyeliner because of course there's no need to do the top because we already have black eyeshadow, so. 
Just my opinion, but I mean, if that's what you prefer, you can do that too. mascara and see. I'm just making sure I'm in focus on here because sometimes this thing likes to chop me out so I'm just making sure everything's intact yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna do um, bronzer, blush, and highlight, and then I'll come back to the lashes and put on the lashes. Okay, so bronzer, I'm just gonna use out of this Wet n Wild contouring palette. I'm just gonna use this one today. Switch that up a little bit. Get my double chin done here, you know? All right, there's that. And we're gonna do blush and highlight. It's funny, because I told you guys in the beginning that I really don't do blush, but now that I'm actually, I'm starting to kind of like it now. Okay, so I'm just gonna use these two colors up here again. I'll probably invest in some more blushes. I don't really own a lot of blushes or anything like that, um, but I may start investing in some, you know, blushes, just a few, not too many. And then we're gonna do highlighter. I think I'm gonna go into my um, Cuda Beauty highlighter palette. And let's see here, I'll probably mix these two colors here. I'm sure you can hear the church clock going off. All right, so I'm about to go and apply these lashes. These are the Kiss lashes, and these are, I don't know which ones these are. I'm looking and I don't see which ones these are. Number 11s, they're right here. I'm not used to lashes, so bear with me. But yeah, kiss number 11s. I'm gonna go put these on and I will be right back. All right, guys, so the lashes are on. I did manage to put them on. What a difference they do make. They are very pretty, I like them. I may start, you know, using them. I do like them, they're pretty. Um, and then the next thing that I have is just my lip gloss. And that is it, pretty much. Okay, so I lied. I did put on my earrings. So, you know, you can't be having a full face of glam and not having your earrings in. So earrings are on. The look is completed. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Thank you again for stopping by and I will be back with more content. Have a good day. Stay blessed.